Judah. Y'all heard that name before? Yeah, I got a friend named Judah. You do? Uh, uh, what about a Levi? Yeah. See, these names don't sound familiar there? A brand. Okay. Well, oh, this, God, do. I'm going to say Gad. Yeah, Gad, right? These are names of the children of Israel. And you see right below it, this is what the world calls them. You've heard of Dominican Republic, right? You've oh, yeah, heard yeah. of uh, Negroes, right? That would be us. You've heard of Haitians, right? Mm -hmm. So these names were put upon us. The ones that you see on the bottom, they were put upon us by our enemies, right? Do y'all know who our enemies are? Uh, As so-called black people? Uh, whites. There you go. There you go. Those are our enemies. So they are the ones who called you Negro. So my question is, where did God call you? The right? child. His child. His child. But like, uh, for instance, y'all are children of somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. And then when y'all, do y'all have any kids? And when y'all grow up, Lord willing, y'all have kids. And then the first thing you're going to do is want to name that child, right? Mm -hmm. So what is, what is our name? Uh, Dr. David. Yeah, we're the children, but what is the, the children? Okay. children. All right, let's get uh, no, first Chronicles chapter 16, verse 13. I'm going to show y'all real quick. I'm going to show you the name of the chosen people in the Bible, right? First Chronicles. Yes, sir. 16, 13. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 16 and verse 13. O ye, seed of Israel, uh -huh. his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Read that one more time. O ye, seed of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Yeah. Who did it say? Israel. 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 That's right. That's right. So what you're looking at right here, these are the 12 tribes of Israel. All these different names right here, they make up uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? You got Judah, Levi, Ephraim, Asher, and the, these go up to make up the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's who we are as a nation of people, not African-Americans or black people. That's what the so-called white man called you. But God called you the children of Israel. So, right? um, y'all about to make a video about it? Yeah, we're making a video about it. We out here to teach our people. Anybody who uh, is of our people, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we come out here today to let them know that they are uh, greater than what this world calls them. You see that? They're they're uh, more special than what this world thinks of them. You know, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six, right? Because who would you say? Do you watch any sports? Yeah. What well, what's your favorite sport? Flag football. Flag football. Basketball. What's your basketball? Who are the greatest players who play basketball? What race of people are they? LeBron James. LeBron yeah. and what what's his Black. race? Black, yeah. right? Black. What uh, name another great player that y'all know? Oh, uh, LeBron James. LeBron James. Who else? Um, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry. Right. Y'all know Steph Curry. Right. Mm -hmm. But you see, Kobe Kobe. there you go, Kobe Bryant. Now, what do they all have in common? They all black. They all so-called black people. Right. They all the same race. Right. But let's see why they so great at what they do. Read what you got. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people right. unto the Lord thy God. The word holy means separate. Just like the word you see the word holy Bible, that means separate books, right? So the word holy means separate. We're separate people. The Lord chose us out of all the different nations of people to be his special people. Can you read it? Can you for, read it? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee be a special people right. unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now what would Kobe Bryant be? LeBron James? Michael Jordan be? What would they be? Sick. Above all people. Oh, above all people. Uh -huh, above that, all people. That are upon the face of the earth. That's why we the greatest in basketball, football, uh, hell, cheerleading, uh, volleyball, right? You think track. that uh, track, there you go. You think of all these different sports that we uh, that we play, hey, guess what? We're the best at it because the Lord, we're the Lord's chosen people, right? When you look at uh, entertainment, what type of music does everybody want to listen rap. to? They want to listen to rap. R&B. Because R R &B. R &B. That's right, because we make the greatest music, too, you know? So what the Lord is telling you that this particular people, they will be above all people in everything and every aspect of life that they do. Even cooking, the way we dress. People want to dress like us, right? They want our skin color, right? Don't they lay out in the sun for hours? 
to try to get tans and stuff to yeah, try to look like us. Look like us get dark. That's right. And we can just uh, go into the sun hey, and get energized by it. They go into the sun, they get burned up. <laughs> Bring it you out. See that? They go into the sun and they get uh, canceled. You know? So, what you guys say? Um, that's right. That's right. That's what we out here for. Because you you understand that, right? Mm -hmm. That you're greater than what this world call you, right? Yes. We have to truly understand that. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Now let me ask you this. Now we truly the greatest people, right? Why is it that we are not in the greatest positions then? Why do we live in the worst conditions as a nation of people? Probably because our decision. Our decision? And what, what would be uh, a dis bad decision that we would make to get us into that position? I mean, it could also be like, your motivation, how you feel. Okay, all right, what you say? <clears throat> what you got, sis? Um, I don't know. Oh, what was the question? So the question is, uh, how did we get the position that we in today? How did we get in that position, right? And, and why are we in that position? Like, why are we living in the slums and the ghettos, but you have so-called white people, right? They live in the uh, the best places on the earth. I they think, live. I think because like the decisions that you make, they like call us the way that people look at you in a certain way or something like that. I don't know, like. All right, we're gonna show you exactly why, right? We're gonna show you this at the Lord. Give me uh, that in verse number one. Verse number one first. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shall hearken diligently. Cause y'all familiar with Moses? Mm -hmm. You familiar with Moses, Moses. right? So the story of Moses and enlighten the sister on uh, the story of Moses when y'all leave too, okay? Uh, so the story of Moses, the children of Israel, they walked through the Red Sea. Y'all ever heard the story where Moses split the Red Sea in half? I right? saw like pictures. Right, you've probably seen the movie and stuff like that, right? Pictures of it? Like pictures. Okay, so Moses walked through the Red Sea with the children of Israel. He gets to the, uh, the wilderness and he's teaching them commandments of God. Right now, as he's speaking to them, He's telling them what God wants them to hear. What what uh what God yeah what God wants them to hear. Keep reading. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse one, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Right. That the Lord thy God will set thee. On high, on low, on, on high, high uh -huh. above all nations of the earth. Now, what in this sentence did it say we would have to do to be set on high? Keep his what? Read it again. Read uh, it again. And it should come to pass uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently. Meaning, if we, if the word hearken means to listen. If we would listen to the Lord, then what? Diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh to observe and to do all his commandments. All his what? All, all his, his commandments. commandments. There you go, there you go, his commandments. The things that the Lord tell us to do, if we did those things, then we will be blessed. Right, read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, keep reading uh, verse two. Verse two, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee right. if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Lord said we would be blessed if we listened to him and did the things that he told us to do. Right? Just like uh, if you listen to your parents at home, guess what? You get rewarded for that. Your parents might take you out to your favorite place to, uh, that you like to eat. They might take you to your, your favorite uh, arcade. Right? Hey, do your, the favorite things you like to do. They might take you out for ice cream because you've been a good child. Mm -hmm. the same, that's the same way the Lord will reward us when it comes to our living condition, our health, right? The, the places uh, that we uh, reside in, right? Can you read? Verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be 
in the field. So the Lord said, if we listen to him, we we'll, we would be blessed in the city. How are we living in the city right now as so-called black people? Would y'all say that we're blessed or cursed? Blessed. Y'all think we're blessed as a people? What if, uh, when you go, uh, y'all, y'all ever been to the projects before? Yes. When you go to the projects, who do you normally see there? Black. Black people, right? Uh -huh. Would y'all say uh, that living in those type of conditions are a blessing or a curse? It's a blessing, probably. It's like, because, I wouldn't say it's like a curse, but it's like this one. Well, it's good to have a roof over your head. Yeah. We'll, we'll say that. But compared to living in a, in a mansion, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or or uh, a house where there's no, no uh, pesticide, well, no lead in it and different things of that nature. What, what would you say is a, uh, a blessing or a curse? To live uh, in a mansion or to live in a project? The mansion. A mansion, that's right? Good. And that's how so-called white people are living, right? They live in big houses, uh, living in the best communities, gated communities and stuff like that. But we live in, in the worst communities. Right, where uh, gunshots almost every night, right? Uh, trash everywhere. The grass don't be cut, you know. Right. Uh, read verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. The book of Isaiah, chapter one, and verse verse nineteen. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. That's right. So the Lord said, if we be willing and obedient, we're gonna eat the good of the land. Like, hey, we'll even have the uh, the best restaurants, the best uh, food stores, right? Where have y'all seen the Whole Foods over here? Uh, like, a Whole Foods? Y'all y'all know what the grocery store Whole yeah. Foods is? Grocery store? Mm-hmm. Yeah, grocery store. Well, you know, they have uh, different grocery stores like uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, uh, Family Dollar and stuff like that, but over it. in the other communities, in the so-called white man communities, he has a place called Whole Foods, where oh. they have organic produce, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, some yeah, of the yeah. best foods you can see. Some foods we never even seen in Walmart, period. You go there, they have whole different labels on them, uh, a bunch of other different ingredients that we never seen before. You see what I'm saying? Like uh, stores that we have not ever seen, like Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. uh, Trader Joe's one, right? Right. Okay. There you go. See, I, I was unfamiliar with Trader Joe's. You know. Uh, what you got? The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse fifteen. Uh -huh. But it should come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe, to do all His commandments. All His what? All, all His, his commandments. commandments. See that? How the Lord keeps saying, "Do my commandments." The Lord said, I'm your father. Hey, do what I say to do. You know, that's all the Lord is saying. So if we don't listen to his commandments, read. But it should come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to, to observe, to do all his commandments, right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses, all these what? All these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. So the Lord said, now, if you listen to me, you're going to be blessed. If you don't listen to me, you're going to be what? Cursed. You're going to be cursed. There you go. Now, the Lord is going to go through a list of curses that we will go through as a people, right? For not listening to him. Right? Keep reading. Uh, cursed shall thou be in the city. So not, if you don't listen, you're not going to be blessed in the city. You're going to be cursed in the city. And that's how we live in today. We live in cursed in the city. So we can clearly see that us as a people, we didn't listen to the most our God. Right? Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. And we will be cursed in the field. Y'all ever heard that we was in slavery before as a people? Right? What did they teach y'all about that? We had to work in the field. What did they teach you about that? Go get their own food. Go get their own food. Right, right. What what you heard about? You had to pick cotton. Pick cotton. There you, you go. You had to do work for them. Uh -huh. They work. Like, you got to be their nanny. Right, right. Babysit Now, do you think they got paid for that? No. That, that don't sound like a blessing, does it? You see that? It said, curse shall we be in the city and curse shall we be in the field. You look at this picture right here. Our foremothers, they was in the field picking cotton with dresses on. Right. Think about that. You in the sun, uh, it's 90 degrees outside, 98. 
right? 98 degrees. Y'all ever been outside and it's 98 degrees outside? It's so hot that you can barely even breathe. Oh, no. Right? What about yeah, like the, about during the summertime? Oh, yeah. Y'all know how it is during the summertime? Yeah, when you, you, you go outside, yeah. it's so hot that you want to go back inside immediately. Yeah. Right? You start sweating as soon as you walk out. Imagine our people being out in the field all day long having to pick that cotton. And then bring it back and not get paid for it. That's what they had to go through. That's called being cursed in the uh, in the field. You know, uh, read verse number uh, 32. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Another curse was our sons and our daughters would be given to another people. So our sons and daughters, they were sold in slavery, right? From plantation to plantation. Even if a, a mother wanted to keep their child, they would take that child from them and sell that child and maybe to Texas, maybe somewhere in uh, Nevada, somewhere in New York, and you would never see that child again, right? That's right, that's right. And, and that's what they did to us as a people. That's one of the curses that we had to do. Can you read it? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That's right. So go down to verse uh, 64. Verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among how many? Among, among all, all people. people. Among all people. The Lord said he would scatter us, the so-called blacks, among all people. You read it? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Even unto the other. So he, we got scattered throughout the whole earth. Y'all ever seen this before? The transatlantic slave trade? Y'all familiar with that? Are y'all familiar with us going into slavery on ships, mm -hmm. right? They they put us on these boats and they put up and they shipped us all throughout the countries to South Africa, to, to Europe, to South America, to North America. We got put on ships just like packages and we got shipped everywhere throughout the country, right? And it wasn't by choice, it was by force, right? You read? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other that's why you can you can go on youtube right now and see how do black people live in china how do black people live in russia how do black people live in ukraine and that's why you can see a whole list of our people going through the same things that we're going through over here in america right because we got scattered throughout all of uh, the earth you read and there Thou shalt serve other gods. Uh -huh. And once we get there, we're going to serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. And you look at these signs right here. We got forced to worship him when we got over here. Right? Did y'all know that Jesus don't look like that? Y'all didn't know that? Okay, we're going to show y'all. Give me it. Uh, hold that. Give me verse 68 first. And then give me that in Revelation. So he's not white. We won't get to it. I'm going to show you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. This is how we know who we are for a fact. Right, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the word Egypt means slavery, according to the Bible. Right? The Lord said he would bring us back into Egypt, or with uh, that word means slavery, again with what? With ships. With what? With, with ships. How do we get over here? With what? Ships, ships. With ships. That's how we got over here. That's how we know that we're the chosen people. Because the Lord said that we would go into slavery on ships. And we can look into the world and see no other nation of people have uh, gone into slavery on ships but us. That's how we know the Bible is talking about us and only us. Right? Keep reading. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What did God call the white man? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What did he call the East Asian? I mean your, the East Indian? Your enemies. The Arabs. Your enemies. enemies. The Chinese man. Your, your enemies. enemies. Those are the people who sold us into slavery, right? So the Lord told you that we would go into slavery uh, uh, to our enemies, right? 
So all those nations that we just named, those are our enemies because they all had a hand into putting you in slavery. Asian people? Asian people as well. When you I look into the, like, like, when you look into the history of it, uh, they had us in slavery as well. Look up, try to find out who built the uh, the Great Wall of China. When you look into it, uh, we actually uh, took part in building that wall as a people. What was it built for? What was it built for? It was to keep, uh, what nation that they were trying to keep up? The Mongolians. There you go, thank you. They were trying to keep out a certain nation uh, from attacking them, the Mongolians, right? Just like you see in uh, Mulan, the movie Mulan, mm -hmm. uh, you will see the Mongolians trying to attack the so-called Chinese people. Oh. What you got, sis? So, all the things that we found enemies trying to sell us. That's right, they sold us. That that's uh that's in history. Right? You have a history class in school? Not yet, not yet. Okay. Well in in history, in the past time, they did sell us to uh to other nations. We had to be slaves at one point in time. But and we're still slaves to this day, but just in a different way. Right? But uh let me get that in uh, Revelation real quick. So this man right here, that that's who they call Jesus, right? Right, let me show you according to the Bible what it looks like. Because the whole Bible, it talks about Jesus, right? So would it would it not give a description of what he actually looked like? Right, let's, let's see what he looked like. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Matter of fact, start at verse 1. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the word revelation means to reveal. Y'all ever heard of the book of Revelation in the Bible? So that's the last book in the Bible, right? And the word revelation means to reveal, right? Read what you got. Book of Revelation, chapter one, verse one. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, right? who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Skip down to verse 13, folks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, right. clothed with a garment down to the foot. So now it's talking about the clothes he had on. So he had a long garment on all the way down to his foot. Right. Keep reading. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden belt on, a golden warlike belt. Y'all ever seen uh, WWF? Mm -hmm. Where they had a big belt on? Mm -hmm. But this one, it was golden, right? So he had a long garment on with a big golden warlike belt on. Just like a warrior would have in like a, a old medieval movie. Right, read. Verse 14, uh -huh. his head and his hairs were white like wool. Now I say his hairs, the hairs on his head and the hairs on his beard, right? It, it said it was white in color. White like wool. Like what? Like wool. wool. Now what texture, what nation of people have the texture of woolly hair? Black people. So woolly hair would be hair like a sheep. Right? Hair like a sheep. Thick. Thick, right? Or oh, they call it, uh, give me some coarse, right? Curly, right? Where would you go? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, so what what uh, nation of people have woolly hair? Um. Hair like a sheep. What, what do a race of people have hair like a sheep? You know, let's see. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna pull up a picture of a sheep because we gotta understand this, right? Here you go, check this out, sis. Look at this sheep right here. What what race of people have hair like that? What, the, the texture of, let me show you, black sheep. See that thick hair like that? Whose hair looks like that? Black people, right? So, read it again. Look at those. Can we tell you the answer that you're not saying? Uh, read it again. Read it again. Uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh -huh. It was white in color and woolly in texture. And what, what people have uh, hair like wool? 
There you go. There you go. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And the whites of his eyes were red. Right? Y'all ever see an old man with uh, red eyes? Yeah. Right? Just like that. Right, Reed? And his feet. And his what? And, and his, his feet. And his feet. <laughs> Meaning it's talking about the, the color of his body. Right? The color of his feet. Right, Reed? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Oh, brown. Brown. There you go. Now, as so-called black people, right, we we have different shades, right? You have some that are lighter skin, some that are darker skin. What shade of brown do you think he would be? Brown. Right. Let, let's see what, what the Bible says. Ladder? As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As, As if, if they burned, burned in, in a furnace. furnace. So Jesus Christ looked like he burned in a furnace. So what color would he be? Black. Black. He would be dark. Dark. Skin. Very dark brown, right? So just like uh. You see some of our people who are very dark, like this brother, he will look more like Christ than him, right? Now, any description that we read thus far, does he fit that description? No. He does not. So we had to question, our, question that and say, where did this come from? If the Bible doesn't say that he looked anything like this, right? We had to question who gave so us that image. That's right. He doesn't have hair like wool. He has hair like a golden retreat. He has had like a like a uh, German shepherd, right? So that that right there, that image is fake. We can go ahead and counsel that out. So he's black. That's he's a so-called black man. There you go. Oh, so that what you were now everything that we read, does that fit, fit the description right there? Mm -hmm. So he had hair like wool, as white as snow. His he eyes were as a flame of fire. Yeah. His feet were like fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. Meaning he would be dark, right? His feet were dark. So his feet would be dark. Now the top of your feet, right? They're the same color as your body, right? Mm -hmm. Same color as your legs, your stomach, your face. The top of the top of your feet are. So that's what it's talking about. It, uh, it's not talking about the bottom of the feet. So oh. it, it, you see what I'm saying? So this so right here, like. this is a depiction of him. Just like uh, if the police came out here and somebody, uh, God forbid, robbed one of the stores, right? They would come out here and ask everybody, what did the robber look like? So everybody would give a description. They would say, oh, he was a uh, 6'2". He had a, uh, uh, he had on a white t-shirt. See what I'm saying? They would say what skin color he would be, his hair texture. Uh, there you go, there you go. And they would describe him in the best way they knew how. So the same way he's being described in the Bible, right? He had a green garment on, a golden belt, he had dark skin, he had woolly hair. So this was a so-called black man that we're looking at, right? And not him. So what would that make Jesus? That made him all praise. He was just a him. So is, uh, is Jesus white? No. You sure about that? What would the Bible say though? That's right, that's right, that's right. So we can't go off of what man said. So what was Jesus? So what? Jesus. What, what, what was he? Yeah. What do you mean, what was he? What color oh, was Jesus? Oh, which one are we talking about? We're talking about God or Jesus. We're talking about Jesus right now. Oh, oh Jesus right. is black, so God is black too. So if if, if God is uh, the father of Jesus, what would that make him? Then what color black. is Mary? That, there you go. There you go. The sister said, give me something on that. That would make him black. Right? If, if If Jesus was black, right? Then what would what would that make his cousins? Black. What would that make his aunties? Black. His uncles? Black. His mom? Black. There you go. Oh, he could be mixed. So you want Jesus to be mixed? No, I'm just saying like what color was he? Like? You want him to be white? No. What the Bible say he was? He was black. black. He was a so-called black man. There you go. There you go. So I was just wondering. Mary was a uh, was an Israelite, right? Oh. So. Like, the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14 for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah out of what? out, out of, of Judah. Judah he sprang out of Judah right so the Lord who the world calls uh, Jesus his real name is Yahweh Shah he sprang out of Judah right Judah is one of the 12 tribes of Israel we come from the tribe of Judah right because today they call us Negroes. But ultimately, if uh, if Jesus Christ was on the earth right now, they would call him a Negro, 
he would be a African American, right? Y'all get that? Because we descend from the same tribe that he came from too. Read that again. It is evident, for it is evident. Mean, meaning effect, where evident meaning effect, read. That our Lord came from the tribe of Judah. He came from the tribe of Judah. See that? So he was a so-called black man. Read what you got. In the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse nine. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, right. and the ancient of days did sit. So the ancient of days, do y'all know what that means? What does ancient mean? Uh -oh. we'll Old, right? Long time ago. So it said what? I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days. So it said the ancient of days. So before days were even made, this man was the ancient of days. Now who would that be? That would be God. Give me some, sir. There you go. So that would be God, right? So now we're talking about God. Read. I beheld till the thrones were cast down uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit. And they called him the ancient of days in the Bible. He did sit. He did sit. Now, in order to sit, what do you have to have? Right. Uh, what? In order to sit, you have to have a body, right? Yeah. Right. You have to have legs. Like, hey, I'm going to go sit down. How are you going to go sit down if you don't have uh, any legs? Or, or, uh, the, 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 or a body. Right. Or a body. Where the ancient of days did sit, uh, whose garment was white as snow. And he had a garment on. So in order to have clothes on, you had to have shoulders, right? Arms, legs. It said his garment was white as snow. So he had a white garment on. Right, Reed? And the hair of his head. And he had hair on his head. Right? Like what? Like the pure wool. Like what? Like, like the, the pure, pure wool. wool. So the most high God, the creator, who created all things, has hair like wool. So what would that make the most hurt done? Gone. Uh, see how it is? Right? And you look at us, we're the greatest people on the earth, right? That's right. So would not God make his people look like him? If we his chosen people? Yes. You know? So that's why it's what God was black. Jesus was a so-called black man. The prophets in the Bible, they were black, right? The greatest people on earth was black. King David was black. Right. Moses was a so-called black man. That's fine though. We're gonna see what color is Moses. That's a good question, sister. That's a good question. And never be afraid to ask any questions. So he made all his favorite people this Let me make this clear too. Uh, we're not saying that everybody with dark skin, we're not saying that everybody with dark skin are the chosen people, right? We also have uh, light skinned people who are chosen too, like Mexicans, they're chosen, they're the chosen people. Uh, Puerto Ricans, they're the chosen people. Uh, Dominicans, they're the chosen people. We have different skin colors, but the tribe of Judah, they would be the so called uh, African Americans or the Negroes, right? And today, uh, we can clearly see that the majority of us have uh, darker skin. You see that? Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. So the Lord said the Jews are in mourning, right? What, what, what does it mean when you're in mourning? Like that. Yeah, when you're sad, right? You're mourning for somebody, right? The Jews are in mourning, what? Judah mourneth. And the gates thereof languish. The gates represent the leadership, or the, uh, the the yeah I said it right. The leadership, right? The gates languish. Our leaders are languish, right? Read. They are black. They are what? They, they are, are black. black. What color are the Jews? Black. They, they are black. black. They are black. Until what? Until the ground. They are black, right? So the Jews are black. Give me that in uh, Job chapter thirty and verse thirty. But you got a precept. Yeah. Yeah. About the Moses. Let's answer that question for the Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 4. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, Unto who? Unto, unto Moses, uh -huh. put forth thine hand and take it by the two. So the Lord, the Lord telling Moses, the Lord about to show Moses a miracle. Right? Read. Verse 6. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thy hand into thy bosom, 
And he put his hand into his bosom. Right, he put his hand to his bosom, man, and his, to his chest. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. It was leprous as snow. When he took his hand out, it became leprous, right? It said as snow. So his hand was so-called white when he took it out, or what you would call pale, right? So and then what? And he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. He said, put it into your bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out. And pulled it out. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. As his what? As, as his, his other, other flesh. flesh. As his other flesh. So if he put it, if he's showing him a miracle, right? He put his hand in there the first time, and then it turned white, right? Uh, no, the, not the miracle is white. He was just showing him a, a, a miracle. Oh, like what, what? He was just showing him how powerful he was. See that? He could turn him from one color to another. But what he was showing Moses is, that hey, he put his hand to his bosom, it became leprous as snow. It became pale. Then he put it back into it, uh, his bosom again, took it out, and it became his other flesh. So, what would his other flesh be? It would be black, right? It would be black because it turned back normal. You know, give me that in uh, Genesis chapter two, verse in. Job chapter thirty, verse thirty. My skin is black upon me and my bones are burned with heat and when you when you look read the bible you'll notice all the prophets describe themselves as being dark skinned people so job even said my skin is black upon me my what and my bones are burned with heat my bones are burned with heat what happens when we stand in the sun do we get darker or lighter we get darker right so that's how job was job was a so-called dark skinned man i mean a, uh, a dark skinned man so his skin was black upon him now, let me ask y'all this. Do y'all know Adam and Eve? Mm -hmm. What color do y'all think Adam and Eve was? Y'all think they was white? Because that's what they show, right? Yeah. They show Adam and Eve was white eating the apple and there was a snake in a garden. But let's see what the Bible says, right? Let's see what the uh, word of God says in Genesis. Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter two and verse seven. It's not verse six. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Right. It was it was a mist that went up in the earth, like a like a geyser. Right, Reed. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Because y'all agree that God created man, right? So the Lord is telling you how He created man. He formed them of the dust of the ground, the dirt. Right. That's why you look at our bodies when you look in like science. We have different minerals in our body. We have iron. Right, we have uh, uh, copper, zinc. Right, have y'all heard these names before? Mm -hmm. We have all these different minerals in our body, right? Because the Lord formed us from the dust of the ground, from the dirt, right? And it was already a mist that had went up in the air. So what happens when you put water and dirt together? Uh, okay. Oh, sand. Okay. Th think about this. All right, if we, there you go, like mud. There you oh, go. The sister, right on. Now. If we take some light dirt, right? Uh, say we got, got some dirt from the baseball field, right? And we put water on it. Would, would it turn darker or lighter? Darker. It would turn darker, right? So when the Lord took that dirt and then he took water and formed us, guess what we, we were? Dark. We were dark, right? Can you read it? Verse 6, but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Right. And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground. He formed us out of dirt, Reed. And breath into his nostrils, the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And that's the creation of man right there. He, the Lord formed them out of dirt. And we understand that dirt is what color? Oh, it's brown. There you go. Uh, which one? Okay, okay. Now, I, I, I'll tell you about those, but do you understand that the Lord formed man from the dirt of the ground? What color is dirt? It's, uh, brown, dark brown, black, right? So that's a, that's what color our Adam and Eve was. So the next time somebody asked you what color was Adam and Eve, what would you say? Brown. They were brown. There you go. Get a sister a hand for that. All right, all right. Now, you had a question about these signs right here? This one right here. Now, this right here happened 
when our people were uh, in slavery. Right, this happened right here in the uh, in the sixties. Right, you can ask your your grandmother uh, or somebody like an elder what happened back in the day between so-called black people and so-called white people, and they'll tell you that this went on. This is what you call uh, the civil rights movement right here, right? Where uh, our people were trying to fight for the right to be uh, to be treated properly, treated treated properly. There you go, sister. Because you know they used to sick dogs on our people, right? To bite them, they used to uh, hold hose them down with with uh, fire hydrant hoses, right? With water, right? And they used to actually in slavery feed our babies to alligators. Y'all ever heard of gator, uh, gator bait? Yeah. Children. Yeah, they used to feed children to alligators. This is this is real history that happened. That's why the Lord calls them your enemy. What's that? What you got? The Book of John, chapter ten and verse ten. Uh -huh. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and destroy. Said the what? The thief come of not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So the Lord said, "The thief come not, but to steal, kill, and destroy." And that's what the so-called white man has done, right? To steal, steal your children, to kill our people, and to destroy them, destroy their mindset. Now we the, we so destroyed that we don't even know who we are anymore. Well, I don't feel like them. Right. But I'm, I'm gonna let you pick it up. Uh, go ahead. You go. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So this is what happened. Our enemies, they use that as a uh, tactic, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to kill us, you know what I'm saying, to kill us off as a people. And uh, this is what they do. They come to steal, kill, and destroy. And you get the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. That's when they had, they had a, uh, a hatred, a real hatred for our people. Y'all understand what that is? Somebody have a hatred? No. Just like strongly. There you go. He said strong. That's right. Strong dislike. And the so-called white man in this society, they practice that today. They practice a strong dislike for us as a people. Which one? Oh, that's when the brother, uh, man, he got whipped on his back. You know, they whipped the slave, which is a black man. They whipped him on his back. They tortured him. They tortured our brothers and sisters of me. You know, back in that time, this brother right here, in this picture, you can see he got the whips right down his back. And as the slashes hit his back, the whips wound up. Excuse me, they, they, they got up and you can tell all through here, it scars throughout the back of his brothers because they whipped him. Blisters. Huh? Yeah, she said uh, blisters. Blisters, right, blisters. That's what they did. And after, you know, most of the time after they whipped us uh, with a uh, whip, they help a sister, somebody to nurse our wounds. So yeah, that's a big blister. Correct, sister. Give me that 30, uh, Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. You see? So the so-called white man, he, he uh, destroyed the children of Israel. And we're the children of Israel. Right. Our people. He destroyed us. He took us. He hung us on the trees. He hung us. Uh, he hung our fathers, our mothers, even the children. Did y'all know they hung the children too? Did y'all know that? No. They hung children. In fact, it's a museum in Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama, where they show, I think it's called the Legacy Museum. I don't know what type of legacy it is to get tortured by your enemies, but that's what they do. That's what they, that's the, the museum they made. But check this out. There's a museum they have showing how young children were hung on, on trees. They did, they did to the babies. Two years old, how you hang a two year old baby? That means you have to have some type of hatred, a real bad hate, to take your time out and, 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 and put a rope around a, a child's neck and hang it. Right? So those are the enemies of our people. These things that you see in system, these are detestable things that our enemies did to us. Huh? This right here? 
Yep, they whooped his brother on his back. I think he whooped him right here. The same way his brother had this scar, this is the same way he's doing right here. Yep, they put him on a cross. That's right. That's the same way they did Christ. Not the similar way, but they put Christ on the cross. So if they put Christ on the cross, they put the what? So-called black man on the cross, on the on wood. That's right. They whooped Christ the same way. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 66. Uh -huh. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. So our lives were literally, you know, hang in doubt before us, you know? We hung on trees, you know? Listen, they, they hung the children, the, the fathers, the mothers. If you broke some eggs, or if you try to run away from the plantation, is that worthy of death? No. No. If you run from a plantation, you're not worthy to be dead. You know, say so you, like maybe, they yeah, they probably punish you, lock you up, and bring you back, make you serve. But that's what they did, they hung us. So our life hung in doubt. We don't want that. Thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. And so we feared the so-called white man day and night. They hung us on trees. We didn't know whether or not they're gonna take the babies and, and take our babies and, 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 and bash them and give them to alligator. You see this picture right here, sister? Right here? They took the babies, they stole them, and they gave them to alligators. See this right here? Right here, this picture right here, they, they got the, the, the gator right here and the baby. They stole the baby from the mother and they fed him to the alligators to use, the, use this baby as a uh, bait for alligators. What do I do with the alligators? They cook. Now think about how gross that is. You just use the baby for bait for alligators. But guess what's in the baby? I mean, it, guess what's in the alligator? The baby. The baby. So those uh, enemies of ours, those devils, they cook the baby while they, you know, while they're alligator. Kind of like, uh, like, like they use the worm when you go fishing for bait. Yeah, she said she was there. So when they was marching, so when they was marching for me, I tell you, yeah, they did a number. So he said about the civil rights. So she got, she was there when they was hanging out people. Oh, hold down. Mm. That's right. That's right. They did that. You know, somebody have. You gotta have some type of hatred for you when you're trying to just earn rights as a human being. And they did that to our people. They hosed us down. They set the dogs on us. Did you know that they set the dogs on men's private parts? And the dogs chewed off the men's private parts? They did that. When you see the dog attacking them, you see those pictures of back in the 60s when we were marching? They had the dogs going after the men but the, the, the dogs are biting up the men's private parts. So they did that to our people. They, they uh, tortured us. And this will happen, these are the curses that the Lord said would happen to us as a people if we didn't hearken unto his word. And that all goes back to the curses. That's a good, you got any more questions, sisters? Let's get that, uh, I'm sorry, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Because, you know, these things just didn't happen just spontaneously, uh, just co 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 uh, coincidental, the things happened to us because of the fact that the Lord was allowing us to see who we really were. Because of our enemy destroyed us, our inheritance, now these horrific things happen to us so we can understand who we are as a people. Deut okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Huh. So all these curses, uh, slavery was a curse. Jim Crow was a curse, right? Because think about it. If you got to go to the doctor and you're trying to see about yourself in the your emergency room, they tell you, well, we don't serve black people here. That's a curse. So now you got to find a doctor, a hospital where they can serve you, right? 
So the Lord said, these curses shall overtake us and, and pursue us. All these curses overtook us as a people. Everything that you can think that bad that can happen to a person, uh, to a people, it happened to us as so-called blacks. Did y'all understand that? So let me ask y'all sisters, who we are as a people? Who are we? Who? No, no, no. What's the biblical name of our people? You say what? Judah. Judah, that's right. Well, we are the tribe of Judah. We are, and that is correct. We are from the tribe of Judah. The same tribe that Jesus Christ came from. But what's our nationality? What's our name? Our God given name. Hmm? Okay, give me that in Genesis 28 32. All right. So we're going to give you the name of the Israelites that God gave them. This is the name that God gave our forefather Jacob, the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. He had these sons, he had 12 sons. And he gave every last one of them their names. But the Lord gave him a name. And it's written. Make it out. Verse 32. Uh, 30, 32 and verse 24. Huh. Book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. But what, brother? But, but Israel. Israel. But Israel. The Lord said, your name shouldn't be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Uh-huh. That's our name. There you go. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hath prevailed. Huh. So the Lord said, you have use a prince to have power with God and with man. So this is talking about the tribe of Israel. So your God-given name is Israel. We are the Israelites. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Right. Let's get that in uh um, sick. That's right, sis. That's true. We're not black. See, black is just a color, right? Brown is just a color, but every race has a name. Just like if you have a dog, he may be a black dog, but you don't call him black. You'll call him whatever name you give him. Right. So let me get that in uh um, guess. Let me get that case in uh 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. At verse 22. No, give me 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2. Verse 3. But I will have you know. 22. I'm not even sure. Don't be hurt. Oh, God. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. So the people that we was reading about today and the people that suffered under these curses as far as slavery, Jim Crow laws, getting hanged, lynched, getting dogs, uh, sicked on them, getting hosed down, they were Israelites. Read again, King. Are they Hebrews? So am I. And you ever heard the term, sister, the term of a Hebrew slave? He said, I'm gonna work you like a Hebrew slave. I've been working like a Hebrew slave. You ever heard that? You probably too young for that. But that's a saying that they use, every race used that just about because it's known that the children of Israel, that the Hebrews were slaves. You know, they that's what we use as a people. Hebrew slave, because it's known in history of the Bible that the Hebrews served bondage under a lot of nations. So we are Hebrews. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Uh-huh. Are they Israelites? So am I. So Jesus Christ was in Hebrew. Jesus Christ was an Israelite. And so was Moses was a Hebrew and he was an Israelite. And so are we. We are the Hebrew Israelites. And that's who you sisters are. So when you go back, you see your family, your mother and your father, your, your brother and sister, you know, your, your other family as well. Even your, your, uh, your friends at school tell them that we're Hebrews. Tell me, we are the Israelites, okay? So, and so, what's your nationality? Uh, That's right. Hebrew what? Uh, there That's you go. Right. Son. That's the name of my question. 